what we'd like to do is to give a sense of the scale of the solar system by having someone in the audience uh, say something and let us see how long it takes for that remark to get to various places, uh, starting with the moon. Could you please say, hello, universe? Hello, universe. Hello, universe. Aha. Now, that was a one and a quarter second time delay, which is just how long it takes for light or radio to travel from the Earth to the moon. Now, we have here a diagram to indicate the rate of progress of a signal sent by radio from the Earth into space. And we will see how long it takes for that signal to get to the orbits of the other planets. Hello, and look universe. with... Ah, we just heard another hello universe because our radio signal has just gotten to Venus. Hello. It has just reached Mars. I would ask you, oh yes, Mercury, it's just reached Mercury. If that original hello was given, say, half an hour ago, the hello is just now something like reaching Jupiter. How long before it reaches the nearest star? That will take another four and a half years. The Hello Universe signal would have arrived in summer 1982, the year ET was released. By the time of Sagan's death in 1996, Hello, universe. had reached the star system Eta Cassiopeia. By 2002, when Star Wars Attack of the Clones was released, Hello, universe. had reached Vega, a bright star in the summer triangle asterism. In 2021, Hello, universe. it's 2.8 million times further from the Earth than the Sun is. Yet the signal is still in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Sagan's signal, spoken in 1977, will only reach our nearest galactic neighbor, Andromeda, in 2.5 million years. The stars are astonishingly further away than the planets. 